Hey guys, welcome back. In the last lecture, we handled the create action in Turbo Stream format for both successful and failed user creation. Now in this lecture, we will do the same thing with edit and update request. First, we will open the edit form in the bootstrap model. So to do that, let's open the user partial containing the edit link for the user. So switch to the project directory and here you can see that we have a link for edit user okay and now we need to add the data controller attribute to this edit link that we have same as on the new user link so open the index.html.trv and here you can see what data controller attribute we have that is user model so just copy this data controller attribute and paste it into the edit link of the user partial so just come here and paste it now and now as the last thing what we need to do we just need to rename our edit html.erb so just rename it like edit .turbo stream erb. okay and then remove the existing content because we will uh, now that replace the turbo stream with remote model okay so switch to the new dot turbo stream dot erb and paste the existing content from here and paste it into edit turbo stream dot erb at the line break and now save this and refresh the browser so when you refresh the browser now and inspect any edit link you can see that uh, once our stimulus controller has been initialized you can see that the data action attribute has been added to this edit link okay and this is this will be happen for all the edit links into the our browser okay now refresh the page again and click on any of the edit link and when you click on the edit edit link you can see that form for editing this user is now appearing into the bootstrap model with already filled information or already existing information and you can test this for each and every user so here you can see that michael clark tested the red yopmail.com and you can again see Michael Clark tested the red gmail.com. Okay, so our edit template is working fine and we handled this using Turbo Stream request. Okay, now we need to do the same thing for updating the user. Okay, or whenever a user submits the edit form, the request to the user's controller will receive as Turbo Stream format. And now we need to handle that thing into the update action. So switch to the project directory and open the users controller and just like create action we need to add the handling for turbo stream format okay so into the update action let's handle that format dot turbo stream once user is updated successfully so format dot turbo stream okay and then render then turbo stream dot replace sorry render turbo stream turbo stream dot replace okay and in the create action you can see that what i was doing turbo stream dot append why because whenever a new user is created we need to append that user's row into the table and whenever a user is updated then we just need to replace the existing row with newly updated data so that's why we are using turbo stream dot replace method here okay and now we need to provide the user id here you can see into the user partial so switch to the view again and you can see that in the user partial what we have user underscore row and then underscore user id so we need to replace this user so we need this dom id so switch to the users controller again and here what you need to provide like this user underscore row and then id of this user so at the rate user dot id okay this will find the dom with dom element like user underscore row underscore id of that user for example it's one two three four whatever it is okay and now then just like create you can see here we need to send the partial and the locals to that replace method okay so what partial we would like to render here so we can add partial and partial will be the same that is users user add this as a string and then locals locals will be the same as well like user colon at the rate user this is for handling the turbo stream request when user is updated successfully now if user update failed or user is not updated and some validation errors are occurred then we need to handle it in same way as create action so just copy this format of turbo stream from the create action and paste it into the else part of the update action okay. so we are done now 
so we did all the changes to handle the update request in the turbo stream format now it's time to test the update action on the browser so switch to the browser and refresh your page okay and when you refresh the page just click on any of the users edit link and now let's try to uh, update the name of this first user so we can add let's say Ravi Singh to Ravi Singh Kashyap okay and now hit on the update user button when you hit the update user button you can see that uh, this user row has been replaced in place into the table okay now let's test the validation so you can see that we already have a test at the gmail gmail.com for the michael clark so let's try to update the email for this user we can use test at the gmail.com and now update this user and when you update this you can see that there is an error that email has already been taken okay so now you can say let's say ravi at the gmail.com and submit the request and you can see that this request is again replaced in place into the table now let's try the same thing with the other users so you can change the name update the name of ricky pointing to ricky clark so add the clark here and submit this form when you submit this you can see that the entry has been replaced so we tried the update request in both failed and successful way in the next lecture we will be working on opening the user details into the bootstrap model okay meanwhile try this lecture at your end Stay tuned and let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care, stay safe.